What's good? This is your boy, Internal Sadist. And I'm going to talk a topic of travel. Um, this was requested by a couple people um, as far as travel and my thoughts on traveling and places to go, places not to go. Um, this one's going to be, this one's going to touch on traveling in general and um, places that get, get a bad name that are actually nice to travel to. Um, in the, um, and everything that goes in between, basically. Um, I'm going to start with the topic of um, traveling. Traveling is actually a very nice thing to be able to do and do. Most definitely. It, it, like always, if you ever heard me say on my other channel, or hear me say period, it's my second favorite pastime, to travel. My first favorite pastime is to sleep. That's real shit. <laughs> um, so... And always say, and always add to that, if I can put travel and sleep together, I'd be in heaven. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's a very lovely thing to do. It's like a lot of, it gives you a whole bunch of freedom, a sense of purpose, a sense of adventure, a sense of just fun. It's just straight fun. Even when you travel to places that you've been told all your life are dangerous, you should never go, and this, that, and the other, and this, that, and the other. And if you ever notice, depending on your country, your country always puts down certain countries, but always tries to promote other countries. Always pay attention to that list. If you actually go from country to country, like they, each country has a list of countries that you shouldn't go to, and some have a list of countries that that you should go to, or you should check out, maybe. And I've always noticed that, and it's all, and I always found it very funny. So it's like, if they try to like program you to go to certain countries only, and try to avoid other countries. One country in particular that I've noticed that most countries actually always, most always, always put down is Cuba. The irony to Cuba is, Cuba is the safest, one of the safest countries to travel to, if you're a tourist. And before I get everybody in the comments, Whoa! no, shut up. If you haven't been, shut the fuck up, literally. Um, the thing about Cuba that people don't know as tourists is they have laws against any crimes against a tourist. And they're very strict laws against tourism. So if a Cuban, a Cuban citizen commits a crime against a tourist, that's that, it doesn't matter what it is. It's it's. Punished to the, the harshest severities, literally. All jokes aside, like, it's literally punished to the harshest severities. Um, the thing I've noticed about that also is you can actually take children to Cuba. It's a very children-friendly country, literally. And that's the thing I've noticed about Cuba. Um, if you're from the United States, unless you're like Cuban or married to a Cuban or, you know, have Cuban children or, you know, something along the lines of that, it might be a tad bit hard. But if you look at the lovely list that they, they provide for you, you can still pick from the list of reasonings to travel to Cuba and still make it into Cuba. However, if you do go to Cuba from the United States, when you get to Cuba, they're very lax about those rules. Only America is strict about those rules, if you know what I mean. So Cuba is very lax about those rules that America put on Americans, basically. Which is which I've always found funny. Um, yeah, that's one country that like is very lovely to go to. It's very beautiful. It's very lovely. It's very safe for tourists, unlike what United States paints it out to be. Um, and it's very and it's very safe. It's very family friendly. So if you go there as a family, it's very friendly and very safe to go to. Literally, it actually I would I would honestly say it beats out Jamaica, like the can the can the sandals uh, resort for the children. It beats out Jamaica, period. When it comes when you come when it comes down to it, um, yeah, definitely. But um, and that's the thing that I'll always notice. Uh, Mexico is another safe place to go to, despite the fact that you know how they always paint it and stuff like that. It's a very lovely place to go and visit. Definitely, I've noticed. Um, I've only had one incident in Mexico, but that was kind of sort of a personal issue between an ex and me. But um. Yeah, it's it's typically what it is. Um, yeah, but it wasn't really nothing major because obviously I'm alive. So let that sink in. Um, so, yeah, all that crap that they always try to paint about Mexico and other countries. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are some bad places to go. But, you know, 
if you're if you're smart and not dumb and don't do stupid shit, you'll find out the difference on places that you can and cannot go. Especially if you're from America, where, where there's a gun, where somebody gets shot literally like 1.2 times a day. A mass shooting happens 1.2 times a day, depending on where it is in the United States. Yeah. Um, and another thing I wanted to touch on as far as travel is when you travel back to the freedom and stuff like that, and I'm going to add more to that. When you travel, you feel free. You feel adventurous. I mean, you don't necessarily have to travel with a group. You can travel with a group if you want to, but sometimes traveling with a group is a hindrance, if you know what I mean, because you'll get somewhere and the consensus won't be the same. And one person will want to go do this and another person will want to go do this and another person will want to go do this. And when, you, when in fact, you don't want to go do either. So I would say, I mean, you could travel as a group. Yeah, that'd be nice. But sometimes sometimes the group thing, thing doesn't really work out too well when you're traveling. Um, on top of that, sometimes you run into problems with group travel because you, I mean, granted, you can get nice discounts with group travel. But at the same time, you got a bunch of different personalities that are traveling with you. So you may not all jive. Like one day y'all might be set to go here, but like one of the people or two of the people in your party group might not be feeling that right now. And they might want to go over here or, you know, they might want to go do this over here. So now you got to go do it by yourself, which brings me to my next point. Traveling by yourself is actually fun because you know what you want to do, especially if you're an organized person and you have an itinerary. Like I'm going to be doing this on Monday. I'm going to be doing this on Tuesday. I'm going to be doing this at six. I'm going to be doing this at nine. I'm going to be doing this. Yeah. If you're that, if you're that type of person, it's good for you to travel by yourself. Um, yeah, that's typically what it is. Um, on top of traveling outside of your respective country, you actually learn that all the shit that you've been programmed to actually programmed and taught from your country is 70, 80, 90 percent bullshit. Legit. All the shit that you've been told and taught by your own country is literally I would say I would say 95 percent bullshit about other countries. I've noticed that because like when you leave your country, when you leave a country, you find out very quickly like, OK, so so this isn't like this. No. Or you like you, you just you're, you're just caught off guard and shocked by all the shit that you've been taught that's being debunked by other countries, literally. It's like, oh, so this didn't happen? No? Okay. So what about this? No? Okay, so what about this? And it's a good learning experience. And it, and it helps you take off the fucking blinders that your government put on your face, literally. Which I've always found funny. Um, especially especially people who are too prideful or too, have too much nationalism and, and bleed nationalism for their own country. Once you leave the country, you learn very quickly that your country is literally full of shit. <laughs> Legit. Um, that's no, that's that's any country, literally, because all countries always try to pull that. You know, we did this, we're this, we're that, we're this, we're great, we're this, we're this, we're this, we're that. Basically, you'll learn very quickly when you travel outside the country that that's all bullshit. I mean, they're great at some some things, but they're not they're not all the all as great as they make themselves out to be. I mean, granted, depending on if you go to a third world country or a first world country, there are some benefits to being in your country if you're in a first world country going to a third world country. But at the end of the day, your country, you find out your country is no better than all the rest of the countries. They just paint it in a positive light as patriotism, patriotism, if you know what I mean. But yeah, that's my that's my talk on traveling.